All right. So I am currently eating dinner. I got home a little bit late from work. And I am a little bit bored since the show's kids are watching their own weird show. I have no games to cast, so I decide I want to play Guess Their Elo. I really don't know if this is going to be any interesting or not. But I picked the first 2v2 game from the US East that I saw in the spectate mode. Didn't check the profiles. Other than I saw what they were playing. Um, I have no idea what ELO these guys are. They could be 400. They could be 2,000. Although I'm going to doubt they're 2,000 because I feel like we would have seen their names before. Definitely not 2,000. Anyways. So we're going to play a game called Guess Their ELO. So at the end of the match, or I guess I want to start you know, guessing throughout, trying to figure out what I think they are. And for the end of the match, before I reveal their ELO, I uh, hope you guys can also try to figure out what their ELO is and see who's the closest. So anyways, we are in Coastal Forest. Ooh, excuse me. I might go and meet a few times to eat. Anyways, looks like this guy has an idea. Okay, so they at least have an idea of the map. They're both going to the center, realizing that's where the wood is. This is an interesting coastal forest. I've never played 1v1 on here before. I've always on team games, there's always like paths through the woods. And here it's one massive wood section, other than this one small path up here. Anyways, don't mind me as we watch here a little bit. I want to try to catch it to live time. Um, by catch it to live time, I mean slightly slower than real time. Hey, so I made while you here. Amanda made some uh, like personalized size pot pies. That's a new recipe she found where you like make them in like a cupcake tin and bake them so they're like your own little personal pot pies. Um, I got three of them to eat and she called me fat. I don't know how I feel about that, but they're really good. I've already eaten one, so I have two left. So I'm gonna be kind of eating that and chiming in a little bit. Uh, oh. That was fancy. Okay, that that to me immediately says he has to be over a thousand elo. Now right now I'm thinking closer to twelve to thirteen based on the start. Since they both clearly know the map to go to the middle, clearly starting to build up some walls. Fancy boar lure stopping and then shooting it. Okay, my initial guess right now is I'll just as I see more is gonna be I'd say twelve fifty right now. Let's see how they continue to play. So I want to zoom out a little bit here while I eat. Just so we can kind of watch. Looks like he's probably going to wall up to the end of the map. Early walling. Let's see how he scouts back here. Oh. Oh, he tried to quick wall. Oh, save the villager. Dwank the villager. Okay, okay. A lot of micro right there. I want, I, I'm still sticking with 1250 right now. He said a bad word, maybe. Or maybe he just hit pound a bunch. Dinkleberg. <laughs> that, wait, did he really try to type Dinkleberg and it bleeped out Dinkleberg? I, I didn't. I want to try it. I, I need to try to remember that. Someone remind me if you ever guys actually do watch this, if this even makes the cast. I don't even know if I'm going to put it up on YouTube. Depends how good the game is. Um... Someone remind me if it does have to get watched, try Dinkleberg in one of our games. I don't know why I find that so funny. Alright, I'll be eating and watching now. Scout on the right side is probably eventually going to go down. Way too far away from his TC to make it back there. I did that one in one of my games recently. He was attacking my... Scout lost attention to it. I brought it back to my TC and killed it to save my scout. Okay, so he knows blue's walling, so he's going to kind of... Uh, I think he knows he's going to lose. He's just trying to do as much damage as he can. That's fine. Both going 19 pops. I'm expecting scouts. Very efficient 19 pop. Maybe. He did have that delay with the scout. Oh, that kind of hurt his build a little bit. All right, so he's on an idle. Oh, man. What a long wall. At that point, you're probably just better off walling this way. Yeah, he 
he's just idling to get that food. Is he going to force drop off? Our village. He's trying to. Okay, so his build was not as clean, but he has it now. They both have a decent amount of idle time, though. That's where the scout's HP kind of matters from earlier. Can't really 1v1 a villager anymore. So it's going to be hard to scout rush if he doesn't build a barracks. His timing's off. Okay, Blue's building his barracks at the right time. Hmm. I was saying 1250 Elo earlier. Well, I guess let's, let's, let's see what he does. If he's going for the booming approach. Yeah, he just I think he just remembered. Maybe I'll drop my current guess at 1200. So that seems like a major thing, because he should be building the stable right now with two villagers. Look how much food he has available for scouts. He's going to get scouts out the same time Blue does. He's 75%. He's 10%. Yeah. Blue is up way later than he was. And they're going to get scouts at the same time. And now the question is, scouts worth it? I mean, I would still do it. I would... Maybe send two here to just annoy, and then send two or three all the way around. It'll take a while, but I don't think they'll expect it. Okay, both got eco upgrades. I'll, I'll stick with my 1200 guess. I, double palisade? If you're gonna wall behind a palisade, why not either do stone or drop more houses? Why would you double palace? Is it really that much better? Hmm. Okay, blue's starting to make scouts. Well, I guess purple is... Uh, I don't like it. I know it's only one tile away from the corners, but it's the corners. What about when you start mining these three or these three? I don't like that. I'm not sure on purple strategy. He had a great scout rush build, other than he didn't build a barracks in time and he has not built a stable. I don't like that. Oh, I see why. He doesn't have any he has he lost a scout, that's why. I say looking at the map, I prefer you just build two here. Or just build a wall there. But you don't have that scouting. And here comes blue scouts. I like it. It's a very late stable. Hmm. So Blue has four scouts out. They're all running around. So they're not grouped up right now. And he's right. Uh, and he sees it coming. Maybe. Oh, now he sees it coming. Okay, I'm lowering. Well, let's see how you quick walls. House. Okay. Not bad. I was about to lower my prediction to 1150. That wasn't terrible. I love how purple is so talkative. Oh, oh, oh. A lot of idle. Put them on something different. Look at your your wood count. Drop them on some food. You can get to castle soon, actually. One spear. Okay, what? you have your armor? I take that spear on. Yeah, you build that market. Drop a couple more farms.
I, I, I would almost start taking that fight. I know there's a counter. Heavy gold. Oh, man, he's actually going to get a decent fast cast out of a 19 pop build. I wonder if Purple initially wanted... Oh, he's double die. I missed that. He has two more scouts coming around. Almost be worth it at this point if you're going pressure. Send a villager around. Maybe. Ah, uh, I take that back. You have a pretty good eco going. You need to get to castle too. I wonder if Purple initially thought Scout Rush and then changed his mind. Okay, I know I heard. Yep, he is going to go for Knights. Holy crap. Okay, I take it back. I'm I am going to go to 1250. I'm going back up to 1250. The way Purple defended this Scout Rush. But his gold is still wide open. You see the scouts coming. Do you do anything? What do you do? So far, nothing. Wow, I'm actually really impressed by purple. Look at his stone count. Of course, as I say, I was impressed. He didn't lose any... Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a higher, higher elo, because even at our level that we play at, I feel like they would have taken uh, taken some fights there to try to get... There we go, I like that. Try to get some vil picks. Uh-oh, lost... Oh, scroll up. Lost track a little bit. Lost the scout. So 20 minute, 19 pop. Fat, that's a better castle time than I can usually do doing it the normal time. Immediately start producing knights. He doesn't have a lot of, on food, though. That's his problem. A lot. On, I think that's way too much on gold. But there comes the castle drop on top of his gold. You know what? I want to up it. I think this is 1300. Although he hasn't started night production yet. That kind of surprises me. But Blue is almost to castle. He doesn't have any on stone though, but he has much better eco for knights. Here come four knights. And he has a few upgrades. Purple has no upgrades on his knights. Doesn't even have a blacksmith for upgrades. Alright, so blue does have another gold back here. He has to retreat to. Did lose two vills. Here comes the night raid. Dropped a T. He had enough stone. I wonder if he bought. Unfortunately, I don't have that up. Lost another scout. Had enough stone for a castle and a TC. Still only eight on food. He's on you up that amount to do really any sort of damage. Organ guns. Okay. Probably predicting some spikemen. No real reaction from Blue. He hasn't gone. Okay, here comes a monastery. He hasn't gone on to another gold. I do like that TC up there to get your safe wood. Double monastery. Okay, he's going to try to convert some knights. Yeah, I definitely think this is probably more 1300. It's not me. I don't see this happening very often on RE low. The double monastery play. And using a, one of the knights to scout. So now he's to use this wood line up here. Something we could all learn. So I have a couple organ guns for potential pikemen. Oh, the organ guns could be helpful against the uh, monks. 
At least at this point they can. Ooh, that is a very ballsy, most likely not going to happen with TC. Okay. And his stone is forward. Both his stones are forward. I guess they all are. Are those the only stones he has in the map? They are. So he's not getting a castle anytime soon. Yep, there goes one monk to the organ guns. Okay, Billy, you're going to need a different type of army. Oh, dropping three stables? See, probably needs to go for his own knights. Still no upgrades on these knights, so it's not like they're that strong. But he has the massive amount of numbers. That looks so weird. Okay, that just looks weird. Oh, those villagers are out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, he actually got it. Is that two conversions? Oh, I thought it said here somewhere. Actually, while that's going on, I thought... Okay, it was just one conversion. He did have his own knight. Okay. All right. Blue. Yeah, say blue's not to worry about getting housed now. And he realizes it. I, I'm thinking this is a pretty competitive game. A third TC of our own gold. This is a pretty competitive game. I'm still guessing 1300. Okay, I like the houses. At least slow down the raids. Starting to build up your own knights. Man, organ gun. I say, when we used to play back in college, AOE 3, no, myself, Louis, Joe, Mike, I, completely different gameplay, but Portuguese were in there. And my go to, I don't even know if I made any other type of unit. My go to is always organ guns. You get a mass of 40 organ guns built up, holy, good luck stopping them. Cavs, you're only a good way to stop them. I mean, again, on AO3. Oh, I like the castle. I'm going to guess he bought it all. I'll get the castle, pick off an organ gun or two. There's one organ gun. Can you get two? That's two organ gun. That's I, I think it's worth it, personally. And you got the castle up. All right, you just secured that area. Anyways, but I love the organ guns. It, it would take a lot of... I, You'd have 40, 50 knights come charging in. I'd wipe them all down. A few would get through. Eventually, they'd whittle me down, but it took a while. The key is not to let them mass up enough. I'll protect them. They're so fun. So the problem he's going to have now is he needs to get a mass of knights to take care of the organ guns, but he also has the night numbers right now and still producing Ooh. oh oh i i didn't even think about that that is a fantastic unit to be going into because i'm pretty sure aren't the hussars extra damage against sheep or against sheep <laughs> against siege man I, i've had a hard time talking the last few uh last few casts pretty sure i insulted my viewers in my last one anyways maggie our unique unit light cavalry which is strong at siege weapons yeah i like it i think the only problem is they're going to be weak against these knights but again the knights don't have any upgrade Uh, 
I had to pause for a second where you're having a situation with Johnny regarding poop. So hopefully i am back shortly. Okay, we resume. Crisis averted. There was a toilet paper shortage. I don't think you needed 21 villagers to build a new lumber camp, but okay. As we had a toilet paper shortage, I was able to figure out. Oh, shoot. Well, I was talking about toilet paper shortage. I didn't realize they took out a TC. I didn't realize the range on these things. Well, I guess it's only seven. Oh, what is blue? Blue, yeah, blue has to relocate. Oh, uh, those. Let's slow down a little bit. Those hazards are going to get annihilated by the knights. <gasps> we have a blacksmith. And blue call. Blue calls it. I mean, I. I agree. I, uh, I I think he I, I think he did lose. I think he could have tried a little harder. Drop some farming over here underneath your castle. He he just never built up the army mess. If he was delayed to castle because of his rush, his rush was highly ineffective. But Purple also did a good job of defending against it. Oh, Blue, dig us a fishing ship set. Sorry about the pauses here. Kids keep bursting in my office asking for random things. Anyways, I, I think he could have done this sooner. I, I think he went here when he realized his farm was in danger. I'm surprised no one went to water sooner. Like, picture if he had eight, ten fishing ships here fishing the entire time, what his food eco would be like. He has 750 wood. He wasn't using his wood. Kind of same over here. Anyways, I, I think my final prediction... I'll say 1275 is the average of the two. Now the question, oh, let's look at some stats real quick. Because I honestly don't even know how to check. <laughs> oh, wow, I didn't realize it was that bad. What was the eco KD 14 to 0? 34 to 8, I mean, 13 buildings kill, army high of 9. He made 24, he just couldn't get him grouped up. Huh. He had a much better eco, though. Look at, he had double the wood. He had a little bit more food. A lot more gold. But he had to use it to buy stone. He didn't, he didn't use his eco to build enough military, really. All right, let's see. So here's your chance if you all want to guess their, their uh, elo. Do it now. So I want to see if I can figure out how to find it. Can I just hover over their names? Uh, I am going to pause this while I try to figure it out so you guys aren't watching me having to do everything. Alright, I have found it. So, make your prediction now because I am about to spoil the ELOs. So, as a reminder, my official prediction was an average of 1275 for these two. And... The ELOs are, all right, time's up, 1272 for purple, 1260 for blue, for an average of 1266. I was off by nine ELO. I think that's pretty good for my uh, first attempt at guessing ELO. So hopefully either you text or leave a comment. I'm curious uh, what you guys, how close you guys were in the ELO. Um, and if this is, I think this went rather well. I might do this again sometime. You know, if I'm bored, have no other games to cast, I might pick another random one and try to guess their ELO. This is a pretty entertaining game. I just hope you guys had fun with this very random cast I decided to do. Now I need to go take care of my kids and figure out what the hell they're doing. Because they were asking for stuff, and I'm curious why they were asking for stuff. So, see you guys all later.